Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Which one? The Wi-Fi. Oh, yes. So whenever you're, you're out and about um, with the iPhone, it automatically tries to sniff out Wi-Fi networks, and it will ask you, whenever you're by um, someone else's Wi-Fi, it will say, John Doe has Wi-Fi. Do you want to use it? And so I thought at first, hey, that's kind of cool. And then I thought, ooh, wait a minute, is that really safe to do that? Because if I check my email and I get some kind of banking or any kind of special information that I don't want to share, is that person able to see it? And then vice versa, you know, am I honing in on someone else's stuff where I shouldn't be using their Wi-Fi? It's How does a, that work? No, it's a good question, not just for iPhone, but for, for any kind of uh, mobile device that might be on the road. This is, this is interesting because sometimes when you open your laptop, you'll see a variety of uh, wireless networks, and this happens a lot at, at airports, and airports are notorious for charging to access Wi-Fi for a day, like $10 or $20 for a 24-hour pass. Um, and some people that are likely not good people will set up either an access point or an ad hoc network that says free wireless internet, knowing that most people go, oh, well, why would I pay if yeah. I go free? And that's a trap. Most likely when someone names their network that, they're doing it as a honeypot to have you log in there knowing that you don't know anything. So you're doing everything. You're checking your email, stocks, um, sending financial information, passwords, all the information that you're transmitting from your device to another uh, device or an access point. Uh, it, if it's being transferred and someone's able to sniff that traffic, yeah, they can get every possible thing that you're sending down. Well, it's it's all possible. In fact, someone just sent me a cracker or a way for users to have software on their computer that will let them break through encrypted traffic. Hmm. Yeah. So the software That's does scary. exist, yeah. yeah. So even if you go through a level of encryption, and I think, well, WEP has been notoriously not very secure. What's WEP? Uh, it's it's an encryption protocol uh, for uh, wire, wireless. I think it's wireless encryption protocol. Hmm. I I want I, I want to say now again I haven't looked at that acronym like in years, but if someone wants to verify that, it, I'd be Utron grateful. Says yes. Great. Uh, so my memory is has not failed me yet. Uh, it's an older standard that a lot of 802.11b networks use, and still it's it's still used today. But it's just it's very low level security that can easily be broken through. But this software that someone sent me has the ability of cracking WPA networks. Which it, is it, it, uh, I don't know WPA offhand. That one uh, that one's uh, uh, someone if someone could post that it's like WPA two. It's not it's it's just WPA regular. Um, what is it? Wired, Wired equivalent protocol. Equivalent protocol okay thank you um no wait that couldn't be wired equivalence oh they're making it up now that's what yeah no it, yeah no they're making they're making they're they're playing with me now oh they're okay. poning me um so the uh the, the concept would be that when you're transmitting data from one point to another uh, even if it's encrypted it's still not completely secure so i always tell you to be careful when you connect to any wireless network don't I do usually anything. use the singular card. But yeah. This phone actually asks you. Yeah, no, it's good that it asks you. Mm -hmm. Don't it, if all you're going to do is just surf basic web, yeah, it's it's fine. It's okay. If you I would be very leery about checking email over that connection though. Okay. Um because it's been it's happened before that people steal uh, usernames and passwords and if, for whatever reasons, I don't know why they'd want to check someone else's email, but you know, maybe they're, you know, you know, voyeuristic. Maybe they're hoping to get information, and they can access that inbox. So it's it's good number one to change your email password on a regular basis, but number two, never check your email on any kind of uh, wireless network uh, that you don't fully control. It's it's just it's a good it's a good uh, rule of thumb. Rule of thumb, yeah, to to, to adhere by. So just keep it. Um, and by the same token, if you don't have your your own network secure, definitely need to do that now with people going by with. Devices oh, yeah. all the time. Oh yeah. I mean, it's it's less important in, in neighborhoods like where we live. I mean, everybody's got a wireless network. Um, uh, but yeah, I always recommend that going with the highest level of, of encryption that, as you possibly can. The key is is to make sure that all your devices are compatible with that level of encryption, um, because some devices are they they can access the internet wirelessly, but they can only access it in a certain 
uh, level of encryption, not uh, like they can only go this high with encryption, but they can't go this high. So the device may only support WEP, not WPA, which is different, two different levels of encryption. So can I ask another question that's not particularly about this, but similar? Sure. So I watched this show on TV, and it was actually a criminal who was going around to all these really great neighborhoods, and <laughs> people are now using the little tiny cameras to like watch their kids in the other room or whatever. And he was saying that he has this van, he goes in the van, he comes up next to this house and he goes, watch this, I'm going to show you everything that's going on inside this house. So the house is all tricked out with videos, you know, so mom can be in the kitchen and look at what the kid's doing or look at the living room where the playpen is or whatever while she's doing something. And he turns on his, his little monitors and his stuff and he totally like zooms right in on their house and yep. everything that's going on in the inside of their house. We covered that, like I think last week when you sent me the email because you were looking at video cameras and that reminded you of the story. So, yeah, we, it did? Well, yeah, you don't... Anything you broadcast so, can wirelessly you, can be picked up. But can you encrypt that, or can you make that, like, you how can you make it more. You can make it internet? more secure. I mean, if they were operating likely on a 900 megahertz spectrum. And like this the is phone. Yeah. Like a lower quality phone. These phones have something called digital spread spectrum, so that makes it more difficult for these signals to be picked up by an outside source. Okay. And we explain that in another. We, so no criminals we've gonna done be two, driving by. Right, we've done two videos. Our we've stuff. done two separate. Good. Actually, it's good. It's good you said this. If people want to know more about these in particular, we've done one on, on wireless security, talking about that. And we've also done one on digital sp spread spectrum, what it is and how it can help people. But you know, anybody else has any good Wi-Fi security tips? You know, whether you're walking around, you know, not sure about you know what you can connect to or how you secure your network at home. Uh, this is a question that gets asked very frequently, you know, wireless security in the chat room. We're always looking for hints. So see you soon there in live.perillo.com.